Hello and welcome to the Jet Set. What airline just got a first class upgrade to their fleet? I've got the scoop. Luxury travel expert Laura Dunn is back and she's showing us around her hometown, Beverly Hills. And I'm taking a trip on Viking River Cruise's newest ship through Germany. All of this and more is about to take off on the Jet Set. Meeting a new friend always makes my trip complete. Keeping up with the news about a destination helps me make the most of my trip. Experiencing different cultures, exploring new places, and connecting with diverse people make me a better person. Another shipment of travel news is about to be delivered on this week's edition of Here's This. An attempt at making aviation history is in the making. A young woman named Shasta Wise departed on May 13th to become the youngest female in history to fly around the world. Born in a refugee camp in Afghanistan, Wise moved here to the United States, where she earned degrees from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and has become the first certified civilian female pilot from Afghanistan. Her world record attempt will make 34 stops, taking her through 18 countries and five continents. The flight is being done in connection with the nonprofit organization Dreams Soar, which Wise founded in 2014. Their goal is to support and inspire young women to enter the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math, as well as aviation. You can follow her flight and donate to the mission at dreamsoar.org. It turns out our producer Brad and I are living in the wrong city. According to new findings from Realtor.com, Salt Lake City tops the list of places for people in their 20s and 30s to move to. Other under-the-radar cities that appeared in the top 10 include Buffalo and Albany, New York. Hmm. So why these areas? Well, job opportunities, a low cost of living, and the fact that there are other millennials are the main draws. Now in Salt Lake City, 15.8% of the population are millennials, and apparently we like to stick to our own kind. Who knew? The ride-hailing app wars just took another dramatic turn with the announcement that Google's Waymo self-driving car team will be working with Lyft, Uber's biggest rival. The two companies will work together on an autonomous vehicle, pilot project, and product development efforts. A Lyft spokesperson told the New York Times that Waymo holds today's best self-driving technology, and collaborating with them will accelerate our shared vision of improving lives with the world's best transportation. Personally, I'm excited for the introduction of self-driving cars, and being able to request one via the Lyft app in the future is a great thing, but it got us thinking, would you get in a self-driving car or do you prefer a driver? We wanted to know your thoughts, so we sent our producer Brad to find out, and here's what you had to say. No, <laughs> not me, but my wife might. She... <laughs> would you ever get in a self-driving car? Probably, yes, especially after a few glasses of wine. <laughs> yeah, that's quite good. handy. <laughs> I have a cousin who's sight impaired, and for her it means freedom because at the moment she has to order expensive taxis and they are expensive at home but with that she could just get the car to the door programming where she wants to go and she'd be fine she'd be away that's a really good point self-driving cars would be perfect for the visually impaired and personally i'm looking forward to it i think it'll be kind of cool to request a car and just get in and let it go and maybe it'll make the roads a little bit safer what do you guys think huh, yeah galen what do you think about that you know it, it might make the roads a little safer and for people with disabilities you know maybe it would be great but you know, I feel bad for the people that work for Uber and Lyft that are doing all the work now to build mm -hmm. up these companies and they're just waiting to be replaced by this technology as it gets better. So it's a little strange to me. I just see, actually, I don't know, I see accidents. I think machines shutting down again. Like, like car malfunctions and computer malfunctions? Yeah. Well, uh, they would have to perfect it before I'm sure the DRT lets them on the road. Who are you going to yell yell at? Yeah. You self-driving <laughs> jerk. Yeah, exactly. you know? I know, it's so strange. <laughs> well, you guys, I'm so proud of Shasta Wise. It's great to see young women inspiring and empowering other women. For those of you who want to support her, go donate at dreamsore.org. So what airline is on our upgrade list? We've got the answer in just 30 seconds. I'm leaving you, Wesley. But why? You haven't noticed me in two years. I was in a coma. <sighs> well, I still deserve appreciation. Who was there for you when you had amnesia? Oh, you know I can't remember that! Stop this madness. If it's appreciation you want, you should both get Snapshot from Progressive. It rewards good drivers with big discounts on car insurance. I have also awoken from my coma. It's called a nap, Susan Lucci. South African Airways is updating their fleet, and they invited us to take a look at the amazing upgrades. Take a look. 
We've arrived at Washington Dulles International Airport, one of South African Airways' U.S. gateway cities offering direct service to all of South Africa and beyond. Damien, great to meet you. Hey, Gavin, how are you? Great, and I'm really excited about seeing the South African Airways A330. We're very excited to have you, and we can't wait to welcome you on board. Thank you. Do I get to see the new business class? Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> The aircraft we're about to board is the Airbus A330, part of South African Airways' intercontinental fleet, which allows the airline to offer long-haul service to South Africa and easy connections to their extensive domestic network. South African Airways has been awarded four stars for their fine service 15 years in a row by Skytrax in both economy and business class, and their new business class product has already been received. It's gorgeous. Thanks very much. We, uh, we're very excited about this product. Um, brand new business class product featuring um, uh, directile access for all our business class passengers, a one-to-one -one configuration. So everyone is very comfortable and enjoys their flight to South Africa. And you even have a do not disturb feature. Tell we me do. about that. We do. So when our cabin crew uh, is coming to the cabin throughout the flight and you want to rest, there's a sign that comes on, you say do not disturb and they'll happily leave you alone until you're ready for a wake-up call. And then if you want to be woken up for cocktails, they know that too. They know that, they're ready yeah. and always ready to serve. That's great. Correct. And these seats lie flat, right? Completely lie flat, so uh, you can totally, after a couple of glasses of South African wine, you can relax and you're good to go on our flight. I know I'm supposed to be working, but how about waking me when we get to South Africa? You guys, that looks absolutely fabulous. I am ready for our South African adventure. What about yeah, you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. And you know what they didn't show uh, is the great food and wine that South African Airways oh, has. It's the so perfect good. way to go to South Africa. I've always yeah. wanted to go there. All right, we have to take a quick break. But when we come back, I'm taking us on a trip through Germany on Viking River Cruises' newest boat. We'll be back in a minute. Oh, South African wine. I luxury love on the plane. Luxury on the plane. Oh, luxury, luxury. Stay connected to the Jet Set from wherever you are in the world. Download the Jet Set app today and fly with us via social media. You may even land on the show. Not sure what to give dad for Father's Day? It all depends on what kind of dad he is and what he likes. Joining us today is Bob Guinea, formerly of ABC's The Bachelorette and The Bachelor. He's gonna show us great ideas for dad that make sense won't sit in a drawer, and won't break the bank. Hi, Bob. You know, in a recent survey, over 65% of fathers would enjoy receiving steak as a gift. And Omaha Steaks has everything Dad needs for the perfect barbecue. The Father's Day T-Bone gift package includes a massive 30-ounce T-Bone steak, gourmet jumbo franks, potatoes au gratin, and all you see right here for under 60 bucks. This is a fifth-generation family-owned company that has been providing the finest in grain-fed beef and gourmet foods for 100 years. Easy to order to you, just go to omahasteaks.com, call or visit one of the 70 retail stores across the country. Now after dinner, Dad wants a great cup of coffee. Curie Green Mountain has the perfect gift bundles. He can conveniently make his choice of tea, coffee, hot cocoa, and specialty coffee. And the K55 Father's Day bundle includes a K55 coffee maker, stainless steel travel mug, variety of Green Mountain coffee K-cup pods, and a reusable filter. Now through June 19th, you can save $40 on this bundle at Keurig.com. Now, Dad is going to love this gift. It's not only fun for him, but it's something he can do with the kids, too. Sphero just launched their ultimate Lightning McQueen, an app-enabled interactive race car that uses the newest advancements in technology to create the most lifelike Lightning McQueen ever. It features hybrid performance specs, including driving, drifting, racing, and check out the reactive touch. Ka-chow! Ka-chow! Allows fans to connect with a character like never before. Now, only 24% of Americans are drinking the recommended 7-plus glasses of water each day. This year, let's gift a SodaStream source sparkling water maker to the health-conscious dad. Hydration is proven to help with anxiety, stress, and energy levels, and adding carbonation makes it more fun to drink. The source has three different levels of carbonation, so dad can pick his preferred level of fizz, and owning one will help him consume 43% more water than the non-owners. So there you go, something for everybody for your Father's Day wish list. And for more information, visit DailyLounge.com. Thanks, Bob. 
Are you looking for a way to explore Europe without having to worry about catching trains or driving town to town? The answer is taking a Viking River Cruise. Travel in comfort and style and arrive fresh and ready to explore. I had the chance to check out just what it's like on Viking's newest river ship, the Hild. Take a look. When you set sail on a Viking River Cruise, you can expect luxury. The time to sit back and take in the sights, enjoy some of the ship's amenities, at your leisure of course, and relax. You also don't have to stress about planning some of your excursions to explore the cities that you're traveling to. Each Viking fare includes an excursion in each port, which is totally optional. You're not expected to or pressured to join, but on my recent trip through Germany and France, I took part in a very educational, fun, and enlightening walking tour through Worms. Well, here you can see the development of our cathedral. This is the oldest form of it uh, in, in the eight, uh, seventh, eighth centuries. And uh, later on we had the other form. It was much bigger now, cross-shaped with six towers. And you see the bishop's uh, residence combined with it. And always you can see a second smaller church in front of the cathedral. It was a baptizing chapel because baptizing church and normal church always were separate very often were separate. Uh, a cathedral was a bishop's church, it was uh, a festival hall, it was not a community church, it was just for the bishop and his clergyman and nobody else. The fat one with the long sword is uh, uh, Frederick the Wise, Duke Elector of Saxony, Martin Luther's sovereign, who never became Protestant but also always protected Martin Luther because he was a citizen of his country. Up there you can see the coats of arms of our city of Worms, you see this key, it's St. Peter's key, because, because our cathedral is St. Peter's and St. Paul's church, and so St. Peter's key became part of the coats of arms, not only of the cathedral, but also of the city of Worms. Tours take you through the local tourist and historic sights and sounds, but also to some exclusive locations and experiences that have been arranged by Viking. Viking Cruises calls these excursions their privileged access experiences. In Worms, we were brought to a local Italian restaurant where we received an entertaining and delicious pizza making demonstration and we got to try some escargot. It was perfect. I mean, who doesn't love to travel through food? When it comes to choosing the ultimate gift for dads and grads, look no further. Emmy Award-winning technology and digital lifestyle commentator Mario Armstrong will set you up with the perfect gift to express your appreciation and admiration. Hi, Mario. I have some great gifts for dads and grads. I did all the hard work for you, so check it out. We're gonna start first with the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus from Samsung. Now, they're the smartphones of the summer. Revolutionary, beautiful infinity display. It stretches across the screen from end to end. And the eight megapixel front-facing camera with the smart autofocus feature means you will get the absolute perfect selfie. Dads and grads are going to love that device for sure. Now, another great gift would be the Energizer high-performance headlights and handheld lights. The headlights are great. They're lightweight, versatile, and pivot to direct light where you need it most. And the handheld lights are easy to use with lights that really are long lasting and very bright. I give this to my kid when he walks a dog or when I'm out in the back cooking on the grill. Speaking of cooking on the grill at night with my lights, I cook only on the Charbroil grill. I have the four burner. Uh, this is the Charbroil Signature Convective Gas Grill Line. Convection means it's going to cook quick and faster, but also evenly because the heat stays consistent. I love the different uh, high performance cooking zones and I love the durable stainless steel construction this thing will really Really last a lifetime. Now, if you're looking for something more personalized or a sentimental keepsake, get them a one-of-a-kind gift from personalcreations.com, like this very popular framed canvas art. You can personalize it with a title and a one-line message that makes a great lasting keepsake. And I love the flipping awesome barbecue tool set. That's right. You can put your dad's name on that too. Head on over to personalcreations.com and make something special for them, all right? Now, if you have a dad or grad with a sweet tooth, Sherry's Berries. I don't need to say anything more. They had the cocktail inspired dipped boozy berries. They're flavored with hints of bourbon, amaretto, and other great toppings. And for the grads, I love the gold glitter with a little bit of bling and the 2017 shot out, which is really, really great. And then last but not least, protect the dads and grads devices with the dojo by Bullguard. Now this beautiful pebble that you see here is part of the world's most comprehensive smart home cybersecurity solution. The brains are in the base unit. It connects to your Wi-Fi and protects privacy and all your connected devices. If you want to find out more, head on over to our website at thunknews.com slash dadsgrads. Thanks, Mario. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the Jet Set. No one knows luxury better than our very own Laura Dunn, and she's back to show us around a place that does luxe better than any place else. Today, we are in Beverly Hills, my hometown, and I'd like to take you for a little spin in the car, take you down into the city and show you my favorite restaurants, my favorite luxury hotels to stay in, and what you can do when you're here visiting. Hotel, one of the most beautiful and glamorous hotels in all of Beverly Hills. Built in 1912, the Beverly Hills Hotel is also known as the Pink Palace. Come with me, we're going to try to get a sneak peek at one of the bungalows right through the gardens. Here we are in the back gardens of the Beverly Hills Hotel in front of some of the most historic bungalows in the world. These bungalows are rich with history, and if these walls could talk, I'm sure that we would get an airfall. We're walking up the famed cobblestone of Tu Rodeo, and we're gonna pop into Peter Marco to go see some of the most luxurious jewels in all of Beverly Hills. Come on in. Pink diamonds, blue diamonds, white diamonds, yellow diamonds. Peter Marco has it all. Oh, and it fits, how perfect is that? Family owned and operated, Peter Marco carries the world's finest luxury jewels. Next year I'll be coming to you and saying, I want that 108 carat diamond. <laughs> These extraordinary jewels and designs are timeless, handcrafted works of art. Look at these. Ooh. Love. famous La Scala restaurant in Beverly Hills. I have to tell you that this chopped salad here could be the most famous food item in all of Beverly Hills. Turkey, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Can I tell you this is one of the best salads you will ever eat in your life. Bon appetit. On our right, Sugarfina, some of the best chocolate in the world. Located in the heart of Beverly Hills, the Wallace Annenberg Center for the Performing Arts brings audiences world-class theater, dance, and music. The Regent Beverly Wilshire. Oh, I love that hotel. It's so beautiful, and that's where they shot Pretty Woman. The Peninsula Hotel is surrounded by tropical gardens on a stylish shopping street. Hi. We're here at the Peninsula having high tea. This could be one of my favorite places to come at Christmas time because their high tea is so phenomenal. We start with the uh, pumpkin pie macaroon, the chocolate peanut butter cup, the uh, spice atom shortbread, the ginger bonbon, and the last thing will be a German chocolate cake. I can't think of a better way to finish off your day in Beverly Hills than coming to the peninsula for high tea. This is Laura Dunn signing off. Thank you for joining us today on the Jet Set Luxury Edition. I've had so much fun showing you around Beverly Hills. Back to you, Bobby. Dads and grads are hoping you'll know what they're wishing for on their special day. And Emmy Award winning consumer technology journalist Jennifer Jolly will make sure that you do with the latest and greatest tech gifts out there. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, good morning. That's right, you know, cash, perennial favorite, especially for grads. But this year, instead of giving them, say, a check they might lose or a ton of gift cards they might not use, the in thing now is the Cash App from Square. It is incredibly simple. You just download the app, sign up, then just use the dad's or grad's email address or even just their phone number to send whatever amount of money you want. The app makes it super simple to, let's say, pay for dad's dinner or a round of golf, maybe split a group bill, pay someone back for car concert tickets, or replenish a college student's emergency reserve. Super, super simple. Another gift that a lot of people want this time of year is a smartphone, but none of us want to pay an arm and a leg for it. For that, we have the ZTE Max XL. It's a full-featured Android handset that delivers huge on both power and performance. It has beefy, long-lasting battery, a large six-inch screen packed with pixels, and a fast fingerprint sensor for extra security. But the best part, it's $130. Boost Mobile runs on the Sprint platform. Absolutely amazing phone. Now. 
Speaking of phones, there is a great way to help your dad or your grad while they're driving stay connected but drive with their eyes on the road and their hands on the wheel. That's Navdi. It's an all-time favorite gadget of mine. It makes cars smarter, any car smarter really, with a futuristic heads-up display. It pops into a mount on the dashboard, plugs into the car's OBD port, syncs with their smartphone, and projects messages, maps, and apps right into their line of sight, almost like it's appearing on the road right in front of them. For the active dad and grad, this is the Vivitar 360 degree action camera. It doesn't miss a thing, especially when you're out on the slopes or up for any adventure. It has two 16 megapixel lenses, one on each side for all around views, plus a preview screen so you can see what you're capturing instantly. Then onto smart homes. For that, we have the Honeywell Lyric Gateway. It's a security system, perfect addition for a family home or grad's new dorm or apartment. It's plug and play, easy to use, and it's not just for security, it's a whole entire smart home hub. For more information on everything I've talked about here, go to thunknews.com slash best. Happy Father's Day and congrats, grads. Thanks, Jennifer. We'll be right back in a moment with The Go, powered by Chewbacca. It's time again to talk about what destinations are offering the best deals this time of year on the go, powered by Trivago.com. And this week, we're sending you up north to Whistler, Canada. Go horseback riding through the valleys of British Columbia's rainforest. The unique journey atop your horse lets you experience nature in a whole new way. Go have a mountaintop feast right up the Whistler Mountain on the village gondola and enjoy amazing food and views while you dine at 6,000 feet. Go stay at the Four Seasons Resort and Residence. Top rated by Travago.com users, the Four Seasons offers unparalleled luxury. Be sure to book a Sea to Sky massage. Need more travel inspiration? Check out room5.travago.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great week. See you next time. Bye. Bye.